Hello there sexy gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV for another video review. And in this one we're looking at the must play new release, Gods Will Fall. For PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, Nintendo Switch, Stadia and PC. This video is showing footage from the PS4 version of the game and a review code was provided by the publisher. This review comes from our network site, pureplaystation.com. Check it out for the latest news and reviews. The moment I laid eyes on Gods Will Fall, I knew I had to be the one to review the game. A Dark Souls-esque dungeon crawler with no two playthroughs the same? Sign me right up. The promise of Gods Will Fall was large, and more importantly, Gods Will Fall delivered on its promise. Right off the bat, the game is beautiful. You're not getting ultra-realistic graphics, but you are getting a canvas-worthy artistic design, and the detail in every aspect of either the overworld or the varied dungeons is worthy of the highest credit. Speaking of dungeons, it must also be said that the effort put into each dungeon to separate them from one another is amazing, with each dungeon having been meticulously designed to match the character of the god that you will face at the end of each level. Besides being easy on the eye, the game is easy to jump in and play. There are no particular combos that you need to learn, just hack and slash using square for light and triangle for heavy melee attacks. The difficulty of each dungeon is completely random, as promised, and you will more than likely find yourself resetting your save before you know it. Each victory feels well earned, and each loss can be devastating to how viable it is to defeat all gods. The game partakes in its own gambling system, as when you lose a warrior to a dungeon, you have the choice of either going in and saving them at the risk of yet another warrior, or leave them and come back when and if you have powered up in the other dungeons. The enemy variety is impressive for each level, as their aesthetic depends on the god that they serve, and you will face a combination of light foot soldiers and heavy brutes on the way to the gods. The gods themselves are beautiful, and each battle has its own nuance. I especially enjoyed the battle with a god in a bathtub carried by his henchmen. Item and weapon distribution is important as you need to be able to choose between the character more likely to succeed and benefit in the long run, or the characters who could do with a stats buff. This is strongly affected by the mechanic the developers promised and delivered upon, which is your warrior's personal struggles, as each dungeon will have a unique effect on each warrior. Sometimes they will receive stat buffs automatically due to their riling up, and sometimes your warrior will be plagued with bad visions and receive a nerf to their stats for that dungeon. You may think that these stats are just a number, but try and send your warrior into the dungeon that they fear and you will feel the effects. The game has a unique way of keeping you tied to it, as failure will drive you to try again and again until you taste that sweet god-slaying victory. If you fail, just try again, and you may find that the dungeon that proved to be your worst enemy will feel super easy comparatively. Likewise, I found out all too many times that dungeons can be infinitely harder the second time around, and may prove to foil your playthrough completely. In terms of sound design, the game delivers on a unique and alien tone. It's clear to see the time and care spent on this title, and it translates into a well-rounded experience. If I had to complain about anything, then I guess it would be the fact that sometimes the camera angle lets you down. More often than I would like to admit, I was miscalculating jumps and plummeting to my death, completely throwing my playthrough out of the window as I was one warrior down. The margin for failure in this game is minimal, and often I found myself almost completely depleted in one dungeon, and having to restart my playthrough to ensure I didn't completely blow out. I have thoroughly enjoyed putting my hours into Gods Will Fall, and I will continue to put more in. The care from the developers put into this game is immense, and carries over into an intense and addictive dungeon crawler, which is just beautiful, both to look at and play. Gods Will Fall has found itself a place in the market possessed by the likes of Dark Souls and Bloodborne, but where they focus on the dark and gritty, Gods Will Fall embraces the unusual and the abstract. And that's the end of this video. If you made it all the way to the end, great stuff, thank you. It means you probably enjoyed it, and if you did, show some love by hitting the like and subscribe buttons down below, as well as the bell icon so that you're notified whenever we've got new stuff. And be sure to check out the info box below for our sites and socials, as well as a link to our supporters page, where you can buy us a brew if you feel like it. I've been Chris, I am the PPTV God, and I will not fall... yet. Until next time, bye bye